My name is Patrick. Uh, this video is to tell you about five last minute tips for the SNAP exam. Right? What are the tips? One is go to the entire paper. One mistake that students normally do is they don't go to the entire paper. They get stuck somewhere in between and because of which, remember, maybe the question that you have not seen could be very easy paper. There have been cases happening. So ensure that you at least see through the entire paper. I mean, by chance, if you feel that you're going slow and you may not go through the entire paper, ensure you press next, next, just see the entire paper and see if there are sitters as well. Any section can have sitters. Even con, even if you're weak at con, con could have sitters. Just glance through the entire paper once. Okay. Don't miss seeing all the questions in the exam. You don't know which questions are easy, which questions are tough. Okay. So it's important to go to the entire paper. Second, don't keep a number in mind for attempts. I mean, when people go in the exam, they say, oh, I will solve 40 questions, I will solve 50 questions. Push yourself. I'm not saying don't push yourself. Try to push for more number of attempts. If the paper is easy, try to solve as much as possible, maybe all the questions. If the paper is tough, ensure that you don't panic and pick up the easy questions and solve as much as possible. Since it's the first lot, paper can be easy or paper can be tough. So just go ahead with an open mind and try to attempt as much as possible. Don't panic. Follow your strategy. You should have a strategy in place. For easy paper, tough paper. What if quant is tough? What will you do? What is verbal is tough? What is do? What is logic is tough? What will you do? So different scenarios should have strategy in place. To think of a strategy beforehand. And even if something doesn't work in the exam, don't panic. Okay. Just ensure you follow the basic rules, seeing the whole questions, following the easy questions, and leaving the tough questions. That should do. Remember, there's no sectional cutoff. So focus on your strong area. Also focus on easy questions and questions that don't take time. Even if a question is your strong area, but it takes a longer time, you learn to leap. Specifically, it happens in logic and con. People who are really strong in con end up wasting a lot of time in con. And what happens in the end? That they miss out on logic questions which were easy. So ensure that you, you know, don't take too much time on questions. Any question that take longer time, even if it's a strong area, ensure that you leave it. Right? But no sectional cutoff. Focus on maximizing your overall score. Don't give up till the end. I mean, whatever happens, do your best till the end. We don't know what a cutoff will be till the results come out to ensure you do it well. Remember the CAT exam that happened this year. So a lot of people gave up in con section. They found it tough, couldn't solve. If they had just solved two or three questions or four questions in con, they would have got a decent percentile and clear the cutoff. The cutoff will go down drastically. So if you find things not working around, just relax, but don't give up. Push yourself till the end. Very important. All the best for the exam.